Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we're checking out level one, The Magic Begins Free Play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. As you can see on the far right, we are finally going to get the rest of the collectibles. And you might notice there's one gold brick missing. That's because we got it for completing the story in the story mode. So no cutscenes here, just uh, unedited, ready to rock. All right, that's not true. We did edit. Uh, that's not. What, 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 what kind of video would this be if it wasn't edited? All right, so here we are in the Leaky Cauldron. We're going to start off by selecting the Magic Begins over on our little uh, thumbtack board over here and select our characters, and we're going to roll on out. So uh, it would appear as though we actually appear right in the Leaky Cauldron again, but it's a little different setting here. Uh, we are going to have a little bit more access to some things, and we're going to start off by getting a handful of studs. Now, let it be known, too, we do have the two times stud multiplier red brick on that we found, and you can find that in the video just prior to this on the playlist. Now, uh, we are already on the roll for the first house crest here, and you can obtain it by actually going to the left side of the area. And there are two candles that actually need to be flipped upside down, and they kind of shoot off into the air like a firework and go bang. And then you have to build up the pieces that it leaves behind into like these kind of poster things on the walls here. Once you get both of the left ones, it will give you the red crest up there. And right in the middle here, there's a couple of stools you can use Wingardium Leviosa on to go ahead and get your bounce on and get all the way up there. So woo to the who! House Crest 1 is officially in our backpack now. So, all right. So we are going to smash and grab a few things. I know a lot of you have been asking us, why aren't you stud hoarding it up, grabbing everything along the way? Well, it's mainly because we found that, you know, getting an excessive amount of studs early in the game still falling short to the true wizard status just doesn't do anybody any good it wastes time in the videos and it doesn't get us the status we need so uh, we opted not to do that in the story mode but we are going to try to get all of the true wizard statuses in this now as you can see i used the uh, wingardium leviosa to lift up that little spot on the ground there which gained access to my other character up top to grab that little wheel we put the wheel on the door and spun it around and it gave us access to the actual uh, alley over here which is diagon alley and uh, there's going to be a few bricks that we can bust up and build up that actually open the door and give us access to the real alley. And on the left-hand side, there are a few things you can bust up to get some studs, but also there is a person in the window. And I can't tell if that's a male or a female. I'm sure you guys know who exactly that is, but I do not. But go ahead and wave to them by hitting the icon indicated by the little shiny spot under them, and they will kick down with the green crest, which happens to be number two. All right, so we're moving along. I'm almost out of breath. I'm talking so fast. And uh, oh to the yeah, we're going to use Wingardium Leviosa on a handful of things on the street here just to kind of break up a few items as well as recover a few studs. Not really sure what that chair has to do with anything. I'm sure it's relevant to the movie. Look at me chase down this blue stud. That is determination right there. I'm not letting you get away from me. Little bluesy for Yuzi. All right, now most importantly on the right-hand side though, there is this barrel. We're going to go ahead and dump it out using Wingardium Leviosa and continue to use Leviosa to build up what appears to be like a little broom mobile. And uh, we'll get back to that here in a second, but it's important to note that and know that it's there. And uh, up top on the right-hand side, there is a student in peril. We can go ahead and hop on the table, and our other character should use Wingardium Leviosa to lift us up and allow us to save him. Da, 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 da. All right, so again, we are just smashing some things along the way to make sure that we get that true wizard status, which, spoiler alert, we do get. Now, you might uh, remember that uh, there is this cauldron at the end of the street, and there are a few items you need to smash and grab and then slam dunk in there, one being the ice cream cone that you saw on the left-hand side, also a spider on the left-hand side. And then uh, over here on the right, there should be... Uh, well, I guess, never mind. I take that back. There was a flower pot on the right-hand side, right, where I'm bouncing around there. I was trying to get up top because there's a whole series of studs you can see in your top left side of the screen there, including a purple one. And I wasn't exactly sure how to get up there. I know there's this springboard right here, but I could not access it. I'm sure there's some tricky way to do something with somebody, and it works great, but, you know, I couldn't figure it out, so... And, uh, you know, like I was saying a few minutes ago, I don't really want to waste anybody's time on this video. So we just kind of opted to forget about it. 
All right, now uh, the third item is the ice cream bar, and you can find that in the little ice cream stand there on the left-hand side. Keep in mind, all three of the items needed are right there at the end of the road. And uh, once you destroy that, do not advance. You might notice that there is some green sludge on the ground. We're going to double back all the way over to our little broom machine. Get our sweepage on, and look at this. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here. Like, uh, it almost seemed to be like conducting an orchestra, but at the same time, I'm like balancing to save my life. But anyways, ride it all the way down and get your on. And once you get that all cleaned up, booyah kashow, the yellow house crest piece uh, presents itself. We'll go ahead and grab it. Now, because this is an early level and there has been no opportunity to get any character tokens yet, at least not in the free plays that we've played, uh, it does give you the ability to switch to the two characters that were a part of the story mode, which would be, uh, what is it, Grip Hook and uh, Hagrid. So you got to use Hagrid in order to pull the old uh, super bar there, the old strongman. And uh, once you do that, it should give you access to get inside. And once you get inside, there's all sorts of stuff that you can gain some studs from. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take advantage of all this. There are uh, a couple of blues on the far left side of the screen. You might have seen me grab right when we first came in. And it is important to note that there are eight of these lights along the, the way here uh, that you can actually turn on with Wingardium Leviosa. And when you get all eight of them, it actually presents you with a purple stud. So uh, I totally didn't see it at first. I got to be honest. I, I knew this wasn't a free play item. Like I knew it wasn't going to give me a house crest or anything like that. But I wasn't sure what it did. And I was kind of bummed out when I got the final one. And I, I actually don't see it at first. You, you'll see me run off. And then later, I actually make an effort to come back and get just that when I should have come back and got that gate there, too. But so you can see the last one is right there. I'm going to go ahead and use Wingardium Leviosa here in about a hot second. And ready. Here we go. Oh, no, psych. Had to grab those studs before they disappeared. All right. So there it is. And you can see the purple stud floating around, but I do not physically see it right now. And uh, so I bail out and I think, well, OK, let's just advance with the level then. So we go ahead and switch to Grip Hook, who's our goblin with the key. And he flips the doors open and gives us access to the next two items, which happen to be character tokens. One on either side of the safe here. And they are uh, locked up with a silver lock on a chest. Go ahead and bust that open with Reducto. And uh, you can see Tom, the innkeeper, is on the right-hand side. And we'll make our way all the way down to the opposite end here. And we will find character token number two. Same deal. Bust it open and grab the token. Oh, yeah. And now at this point, when I went up to the far right side, I did notice the purple stud. As you can see, I'm coming back to grab it, and there we go. True wizard status as a result of us grabbing that. You're going to need to switch to the strong man again. Whoopsie daisy. I got a little button happy there. He's clearly not the strongest man in our arsenal right now. And uh, I kind of feel like an arsenal. Ho ho! Anyways, uh, we're moving along here. We got a little bouncing around. We're going to have to get all the way to the end on the far right side before advancing. You do not want to go into where we just opened because it will take you away. You'll ride the minecart out of here, and you will not be able to pull this last strongman handle and grab this house crest in the corner. So hopefully I didn't uh, guide you to leaving the room because that kind of led to that. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, O to the yeah. Now that we uh, have got everything in this room, we can go ahead and advance by spinning in the key in here and go ahead and bust open the right side too and cha 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 actually we need to use uh, wingardium leviosa to build up a a nice little uh i guess that's a window but oh it's a frame that's right and it flips over i was like what the heck but uh, then we got to give him the old pow right in the kissa and once he drops his studdage he realizes we're standing here and he opens the door and we can roll out literally now we are in the final little area here, and on the far right side, you can go ahead and use Reducto one more time to grab the last character token, which happens to be Grip Hook. Now we can use them in other levels as well, and uh, actually that's it for all the collectibles. Now we are pretty notoriously known for finishing levels. Um, I know that some of you don't understand why, while others totally are appreciative and grateful that we do. And, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and finish these out, too, just because it just wouldn't seem right if we quit and save. Which, But you can do that. As a player who is not recording and putting a video on YouTube, uh, you are more than welcome to go ahead and pause this game that you are playing and save an exit. And it will give you all the items you've obtained while watching this video. And you can move on to the next one. So there you go. I just saved you some more time. Or at least gave you an idea to do that. All right, look at that. We got some serious studage going on. We actually needed, what, 70K, I think, was our uh, mathematical estimate. And uh, we've got over double that now. 
And we're going to keep on keeping on. Basically, all we need to do is uh, switch to Hagrid, pull that lever, and the fire goes away. And once the fire goes away, we switch back to Grip Hook, flip the switch with the key, opens the door, and we can roll out one more time to, uh, well, the last little section of the alley. But we basically just tuck into this little store over here. So, oh, yeah. So look at that. All three of the character tokens. One, two, and three. Uh, we also got the house crests because this wouldn't be a free play video if uh, we didn't get all the collectibles, right? And we did get the true wizard status, which was right around 70k. Uh, we had to estimate with our math, but uh, you know, our math skills are okay. So uh, we might be a thousand or two off, but 70k is probably a pretty good guess. And uh, yeah, student in peril was on the high right side of the street at Diagon Alley. And we got the other three gold bricks. We got one for the house crest, one for true wizard, and one for the student in peril. So, oh to the yeah, we're off and running. This free play series is good to go. And uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Hopefully you found it helpful. And, uh, you know, we always like to hear comments and questions you guys may have to offer. And you can do that by heading over to any of our social pages. Now, we know that not everybody is on every social network, and we try to, uh, you know, be present on all of them but uh certainly check us out on uh, facebook twitter or just comment down below we always know that you found us on youtube or that's where the majority of people find us anyways and uh surely would be nice to hear from you even on youtube fridays we do run contests on facebook so it might be worth your time to click that like button on facebook too and uh see what we got crackling so uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up Lego Harry Potter, years one through four. The magic begins. Freaking free play. That was a remix, in case you were wondering. And uh, yeah, as always, until next time. HAPPYTHUMBSGAMING.COM